Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna do a Nespresso recipe using the Mexico pod, which if you're wondering, I am Mexican. My family is from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and I was actually very happy to learn that I like how this pot tastes. This is like my version of cafe de olla using the Mexico pod. So hopefully you guys stick around for this recipe, and if you guys do try it, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram, Alex Made Me Brew It, if you guys try this recipe, and yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video so this is what the pod looks like it's a very pretty green color it says mexico on the pod and then just briefly um kind of describing the pod this is an intensity level seven it is a coffee pod so it's going to give you 7.77 fluid ounces the aromatic profile is intense and spiced and when i made it for my sister she's like does it like like a chile spiced hot spice no it's not it's not going to be like spicy hot so that's not what it means um, and then the aromatic notes are roasted a lot of you guys asked me about acidity i really don't know or even can't tell the acidity or maybe i just don't pay enough attention but this one if you're curious it has a very low acidity out of five it's a one hey guys so the next clip is jumping right into the recipe i don't know why i just stopped talking and started doing the coffee i guess i was a little excited so yes the next clip is the recipe I hope you enjoy, and here you go. Okay, I'm brewing the pod in this cute little glass milk pitcher because I want to add the coffee at the end. So we're going to brew the coffee first, but not on the actual cup that we're going to use. Next, using your milk of choice, do a half a cup of milk. I'm using the Silk Oat Milk and this is their extra creamy version. Dumping that into the Arashino 3 just to make sure that the milk is hot. This milk doesn't really froth all that well, but I mainly want to make sure that the milk is nice and hot so that the overall cup of coffee is nice and hot. Next, I'm taking the Milk Street Mexican Mocha Coffee Sugar. I'm using two teaspoons of this and this is what makes the pod come to life. I'm pouring the milk over the sugar and I feel like it marries itself as it's pouring. And then same thing with the coffee, just kind of pouring it over the milk. And then at the end, I'll take a spoon just to mix all of the ingredients together. And that is it. glorious cup of Mexico <laughs> it smells like it smells like cafe de olla so let's just take a sip oh my god this is amazing I want to talk a little bit about the star of the show these sugars are so good I ended up buying the sample pack from Milk Street. I'll put their like link. This is not sponsored at all. I wish it was because I actually do like their sugars. But this is by Milk Street, Christopher Kimball's Milk Street Coffee Sugar. And this is the Mexican mocha. So this is what's giving you that spicy cinnamony flavors. And it has chipotle chili. So at the end, it's funny because at the end of your sip, you actually get like that nice kick of uh hot spicy not from the pot but from the sugar and it's actually really good and it's very chocolatey very cinnamony it's just a really nice way to drink this pot so i just wanted to share with you guys the way that i enjoy this pod and if you guys don't have that specific sugar when you brew this pod you can also use your milk your milk of choice a little bit of cocoa powder and a little bit of cinnamon you could add um some spice if you want like some hot spice but you don't have to the cinnamon and the cocoa powder will add a very nice flavor to this pod and i just think it's a really nice experience i did do a quick reel on this whole recipe on my instagram so if you guys want to check out the fast version of it i'll put it on the side so you guys can check that out but also follow me on instagram because i'm constantly putting reels on instagram and just kind of playing around with different pods different syrups combos everything and 
I used that one in the reel and I was blown away. So let me know if you guys are gonna try this recipe. And again, if you guys don't have this sugar, will you try it with cocoa and some cinnamon? You could even put cocoa, cinnamon, and since those aren't too like sugary, you can add vanilla syrup to it just to kind of give it some sweetness. And I think that would be a perfect combo. So yeah, that is the way I like it. How do you guys like this Mexico pot? I'm actually very interested in knowing how if you do like it and have it, how you guys pair it and drink it because it's a really nice pot to have. It's not too bitter and it's not too intense in coffee flavors. So it's just like a really nice medium. I'll take another sip. So good. <laughs> All right, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.